we've woken up by the sea in Tallinn at this parking spot that's only costing us two euros for 24 hours, which is fantastic. And I've just whipped us up some beans on toast. Thanks, Is. You know, we're oh, just cheaper. We do look, look. Yeah. Weird looking. Hopefully they're yummy. What do we reckon of these beans then, Tom? They taste better than they look. I'll mm. say that. They, yeah. they actually do taste all right, but they look pretty gross. Yeah. We are being blessed with weather. Um, two pound for 24 hours. Not been 24 hours yet, but we're putting another two euros in the machine and we're gonna stay here again tonight. We are, we've got two days now till the wedding. We need to find some outfits today. We have nothing to wear to this wedding. Just next where we're parked, there's actually this huge, quite imposing building. So this is actually one of the few Soviet era buildings that is still in Tallinn. This was built for the 1980s Summer Olympics, the Moscow Summer Olympics. So we have already been into the center, uh, but we only went out for drinks and dinner. We didn't really explore the historical center, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So we had a very late night last night, singing karaoke till about two in the morning. Probably embarrassed myself a lot, singing Sinead O'Connor. You didn't fancy getting up there, did you? No, I didn't go up. I'm just glad that Maddie and Iz had each other to spur each other on, because I didn't want to get involved. Lars, Maddie and Krista are staying in Tallinn for the next two days too. So we're going to hopefully meet up with those guys in a bit. Rather than heading straight into the old town, we've decided to walk alongside it. It's like adjacent to it through this really nice park. Um, and hopefully we'll get some nice views of the old town. So we're walking up something called Long Leg Gate now. And this connects the harbour up to Toon P Hill, which we're on our way to. And this one winds up slowly. So we've just come up the hill, up onto this like fortified hilltop part of Tallinn and this is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and it's an orthodox uh, cathedral and it's got all the minarets and spiky bits and cool stuff that you see on these uh, orthodox cathedrals. Yeah, this church is so beautiful, the detail in that gold mosaic above the doors is just unbelievable. So this building in front of us here is actually the Houses of Parliament, this is where the Parliament sits. Uh, in this like amazing castle. Incredible. It's turned from a medieval fortress to a place of governing the country. The Tallinn's a really beautiful medieval city with all these cobbled streets. So it's really just a great place to just wander around, soak in the old buildings. These medieval streets and stuff just feel like you're in Game of Thrones or something. Just found a beer house, just doing a little recce on how much it is for a pint. So half a litre, almost pint, is 5.50. Quite a lot. Hey, we found Maddie and Lars, and they have brought us donuts. Well, we, this is only half as So this is Town Hall Square, which is sort of like the main square in the city, and it's pretty touristy. It dates back to the 15th century. It's got all these amazing, like tall, grand buildings all the way around, and some quite overpriced bars. But I think we should go test one out. So we thought we would splash the cash and have a beer in the square but it was expensive it was like it made Norway look cheap so <laughs> we've decided not to uh, we're gonna go and find somewhere else today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens we've been drinking AG1 by Athletic Greens for over three months now as part of our daily morning routine AG1 is a comprehensive and convenient nutritious drink with 75 vitamins minerals and whole food source ingredients and it's veggie, vegan, paleo, keto, low carb, so suitable for almost everyone. We like to refrigerate the water for our AG1 overnight so that when we wake up, we have a nice, cold, refreshing, nutritious drink to start the day with. So you literally just get 350 mils of water, pop one scoop of AG1 into your bottle, shake it up, and you're good to go. So the biggest benefit of AG1 for me is that it's convenient nutrition made simple. It's just one scoop, once a day, and it just takes one minute to drink. It's a small daily habit that makes it easy to absorb key nutrients and keep me healthy. So if you know me, you know I really worry about getting ill, and I especially don't want to be getting ill in the van. So a great thing about AG1 is that it supports my gut health and my immunity. The AG1 contains dairy-free probiotics that support my gut and naturally occurring enzymes that support my digestive process. AG1 also contains two probiotics that helps to diversify the bacteria in your gut. And the more diverse bacteria in the gut, the more your immune system is supported. In one minute just drinking AG1 in the morning sets yourself for a bit of self-care. We don't always eat and prepare the most nutritious meals. We do try in the van, but it's really nice just having this nutritional foundation set us up for the day. AG1 doesn't taste how I expect, judging by the colour. It actually tastes a little bit sweet. I would say a bit like squash, uh, a bit pineapple-y, a bit vanilla-y. It's nice. 
So click the link in our description to get one year's supply of vitamin D and vitamin K and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So we walked past here earlier and we complained that it looked a bit expensive, but it's actually much cheaper than on the square just down there, so we've come back. Little um, did we know, we were getting a bargain here. I mean, who can resist this yeah. menu? They, it's like they knew who they were advertising to. And I checked online for the best beer in Tallinn and this came off of the top, so we can't we can't miss it. Really big steins here, but that's a half a litre. But I've actually ordered the litre. <laughs> Terrible six. Terrible six. Terrible six. Terrible six. Should we have another? No, we definitely shouldn't have another. <laughs> that was 11.50 for a litre of beer. It was really nice, it was drinkable, it was easy to go down, refreshing. We are now walking slightly out of the old town and into the surrounding city because we need to find some clothes. We're going to find some second-hand stores. So there's, we've just seen some juicy strawberries in this market. Loads of fresh fruit and veg. We've got a lot to get through here. And we're having a strawberry pit stop, which, <laughs> uh, which is objectively a bad idea if we're going to get through everything. I'm in heaven. Just spotted loads and loads of clothes upstairs, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. I think it might be like a flea market style thing. Welcome back to Lost in Transit. It's Mary and Krista and Lars. Vlog takeover. Ow, Vlog ow, ow, takeover. Ow, ow. Mushroom TV. I think we're wasting bad right now. I think Tom said I can do whatever I want. So <laughs> these Humanas are like secondhand shops and this is a Humana vintage. So we're really hoping we can find something for Tom because we are running out of time. had a successful haul. Tom has found shirts and a shirt and a pair of trousers that I fit have. really nicely. Everyone has bought something. It's been a successful little shop. Um, this is a cool one. Don't but tell if, the internet where this shop is. <laughs> we won't tell you where this is. We've moved now into like quite a trendy little area in Tallinn. It's like the old industrial part and it's all been quite gentrified. It's uh, April Spritz, and we're playing a little map. game of top five. It's Lars and Chris's anniversary, so they've gone off for a fancy anniversary meal and we have booked into that vegan restaurant. If you missed yesterday's episode, we found a really amazing vegan restaurant, but it was fully booked last night. We booked ourselves in tonight and looking forward to some good food. So yeah, this area of uh, Thailand is pretty cool, uh, quite trendy. Uh, but now we're heading back to the old town. Since arriving into Thailand, we've been buying drinks out and meals out. But I feel like there's something to celebrate. We've done, I don't know, this is our 43rd video in a row that we've made, um, which is pretty crazy. 43 days, we've made a little daily vlog. You got a little spot? You like a little spot, Tom? Yeah, it's really nice. So we have beetroot ravioli and uh, and some like vegan cheese sauce with chips and tofu stuff. It looks incredible. I have a lasagna-y type thing. I have the crispy battered cauliflower with rice noodles in a curry sauce. Looks like right up my street. This was described to us as the beast. It's a massive slice of Snickers cake, some peanutty chocolate goodness, and um, I am stuffed. So we'll see how we get through this. Last one, the best one. Wow, I am stuffed. That was so good. Really nice. Um, we have really been spoiling ourselves. <laughs> we just really uh, enjoyed the fact that it was everything was vegan, so we could just have whatever we wanted. Yeah, uh, we got a bit excited. Had three courses. <laughs> um, it came to seventy euros, so yeah, yeah we did go all euros. out. But considering we had a beer, wine, coffee, three courses, and bread. But also, we've been doing these vlogs for like forty-one days. I yeah, think we, we can, can celebrate. We can treat ourselves. It's still really light and we are meeting back up with my mates because oh, yeah. they've been off having a wedding anniversary meal so we got to have a little romantic meal as well. We've got another mate <laughs> joining us as well and he is actually the best man at the wedding. So we're slowly all gathering here in Tallinn ready to head towards southern Estonia tomorrow where the wedding is going to take place. So we've been put in charge of where we're going for a drink and we want to go to the old hands it's pretty cheesy and tacky but uh, and expensive, but we have to, can't resist. We've been resisting for the last day, but we got a call and we had to try it out. We have ordered um, a couple of beers and they come in these cool porcelain jugs. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoops, we've done it again and we've stayed out quite late. 
It's now three in the morning. The sun is rising in an hour. So it's dawn, the birds are singing, the sky is light. We've got to get back to the van and get to sleep. Tomorrow is the day before the wedding. We've got to drive to Villande, which is where the wedding is. And it's our final day tomorrow on the vlog challenge. We're gonna miss it. It's been really fun. Um, and thank you for joining us for it. The vlogs aren't over, but the daily challenge is.